Hello, a little less raffish than last week's edition, but still, here's this week's European papers. Now, lots of interesting stories floating around this week. Uh, this in Build, for example, Germans threatening to boycott the UEFA qualifiers. They complained to Platini and UEFA about the diluted format for 2016. Platini told them, fine, then don't play. And the German FA boss responds, yes, we will consider that. Not till after lunch, though, I reckon. Don't get your hopes up, though, Gibraltar, says uh, Build, because it's all empty threats. Huh. All right, well, how about this one, then, from Sport? We are casting for a new manager, says the Catalan paper. The hunt is on for Barcelona's new boss, because they're, what, a full three points off the top of the table. And a big surprise in the candidates they mention here. Look, there's Luis Enrique, Valverde and Andre Villas-Boas. I know, no big Sam. Remarkable. That's not what we want to talk about this week, though. What we want to talk about is the Champions League and the remarkable results in the last 16 and at uh, Schalke and, above all, at Piraeus with Man United's defeat to Olympiacos, a Tarama Salorta, if you will. United leaving the Greeks curiously unfettered and David Moyes, who must do better, could now be getting his gyro. Now, you know that bit in The Sixth Sense when the rest of the cinema finally got it, that uh, he was just a ghost? Well, that was Europe this week with United. Uh, Gazetta's editorial the next day. The English champions, but they're just flops. They're painful to watch, said Lequeep over in France. Is this really the English champions? Build 2, where they reckon that the U in Man U now stands for something new, Untergang. Downfall, yep, bunker scenes, ahoy. Money doesn't score goals, Build informs us. And as for Tony Cruz, who would join this sinking ship? Who indeed? Well, what about the Greeks? Of course, they've seen some Euro collapses in their time, but even they were stunned by a Tuesday's result. Race through these ones, we destroyed them. Last night all over the world, in Europe, Asia, America, people watched as Michel's great team made the legendary United look like a small team. Indeed they did. Prothelitis, I think that's how you pronounce this one. Red gods crush devils and curses, says the paper. If they hadn't shown United respect, this could have been 4-0. Live sport, it's the feet of the gods. It's the best Olympiakos game of all time, says the paper. The real theatre of dreams is in Piraeus. And a quick uh, foss while we're at it. Golden 2-0. Bobby Charlton was rubbing his eyes. The legendary Bobby was at the stadium and couldn't believe Man United's sorry state. Well, of course, United could yet turn this around, which would leave me with a whole stack of Greek paper worth nothing. But still, alongside the other recent last 16 results in the competition, it does rather reinforce, according to L'Equipe again, the fact that the Anglo-Saxon football empire is crumbling. The only exception is... Mourinho's Chelsea, but then as the same paper explains, Mourinho lives in another place called Legoland. <laughs> Trade draw. Not a good week then for the Premier League, but an even worse one apparently for German football for a while. Borussia Dortmund were big winners. Schalke got taken apart 6-1 by Real. Bild called it a kick up the bum, but let's hear what the Spanish papers said. La Vanguardia. Oh. First Leverkusen, now this. As we've noted before, the Bundesliga is a completely overrated championship. That's right, that's why they had both finalists in the competition last year. Ass. It's the German conquest. Schalke are called the minors, says the paper. And they should play as minors, with helmets included. But this was a gas explosion, continues the paper. If they're digging any new pits there, there are 11 fellows here who could help them. Hmm. Marker who ran this splendid front page the day before the game, the return of the giant, Chris there. They called the result special, not just for the scoreline, but the fact that it came against a German side who traditionally are bete noirs of Real Madrid, except they say Schalke didn't play anything like a German team. They didn't run, they didn't fight for the ball. They never competed. Here's Marker's front page the next day. Barbaro bestial colossal is how they saluted the 6-1 win. Of course, BBC, also the acronym for Bale, Benzema and Cristiano. BBC, presumably because they, they run the channels, which I guess would kind of make Schalke the living TV of the Champions League. Well, that's it anyway for this week's paper review. There'll be more Champions League in a fortnight next week. Internationals, it'll be interesting to see if the Germans turn up for that. We'll be here with our papers. Hopefully you'll be joining us too next Friday. See you then.